Hi guys, this is a quick fact check. In a discussion on human creation, a Muslim apologist by the name of Subur of something made a statement. In, in the words of Alex Rosenberg, you know the zebra when it's being chased by a lion, why doesn't it? And I interrupted him here saying, yeah, 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 because I realized he was off track and was not interested in his appeal to authority. But he continued, Rosenberg says, why can't the zebra basically say I am poorly designed because I should be able to turn my forearms onto machine guns and shoot the actual lion? Or in the words of Alex Rosenberg, you know, the zebra, when it's being chased by the lion, yeah, 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 why doesn't its forearms uh, stop spamming? Can you just keep quiet for a second, yeah? So what the zebra, uh, Rosenberg says that why can't uh, the zebra basically say I'm poorly designed because I should be able to turn my forearms into machine guns and to shoot the actual lion. Did Professor Rosenberg say this? No, he did not. When asked, he simply replied, no, he did not say this. The person in question confused him with someone else. So he was not really impressed. So what happened here? Well, Subur doesn't understand what he's reading, which is why I have shown how he misrepresents, misquotes, quote minds and simply fabricates stuff when he's talking about evolution. Now here in philosophy, he's doing the same thing. Professor Rosenberg does mention zebras, but no machine guns. Professor Sober has referenced machine guns in evolution and optimality. And there are other people who have. But due to his lack of understanding, Subur simply repeats stuff, you know, like a parrot mixing sounds and coming out with gibberish. Okay, so now I've shown that something is wrong. I have shown what is wrong and why it is wrong. But what would have been correct? Well, that's terribly easy. Since this is frequently referenced in literature, you should have gone straight to the source, which is John Krebs, Nicola Davis in 1981 book, An Introduction to Behavioral Ecology. There they explain this, not with this slippery slope nonsense of what comes after, with, with optimal design that I refer to, where my optimal means a working design within available, and I've clearly referenced this, phenotypes, not the most outrageous phenotype conceivable. It's about an evolutionary process. And Subway, yet again, he has just made a fool of himself here. Not only did he fail to understand my point and resorted to chucking red herrings, he also didn't understand and totally screwed up his appeal to authority when he pretended to quote a professor of philosophy. Cheers, guys.